Hey, what's up guys and welcome to another episode of Cops, Court and Coffee. Now, on this week's episode, I will be going over the actual effects of specific BAC levels and what happens to your body as you begin to consume alcohol. Now, some of these things you may know and some of the things just might surprise you. So, stay right where you are. And I'll be right back. Welcome back and thanks for sticking around guys. And before I get started, I just wanted to say thank you to all of my new subscribers. Now, if this is your first time here, please subscribe now, hit the button below so that you guys will be able to receive all of the new content first when we put it out. So we all know that the effects of alcohol intoxication are greatly influenced by the individual. Now, in a later episode, I'm going to be joined by my colleague, Keith Hammer, and together we're going to be going over the factors, all right, the factors that actually influence your BAC or the blood alcohol concentration. So for right now, I'm going to quickly explain what happens to your body as you consume that alcohol. All right. So as you begin to drink, all right, and you're at a 0.02 to 0.03, there really is no loss of coordination. And there is a slight feeling of euphoria and you have lost all of your shyness. Now, depressing effects are not apparent, but you will be mildly relaxed and you may be a little lightheaded, all right? At a 0.04 to 0.06, there is a feeling of well-being. Your, you know, your relaxation is higher and you will have lower inhib inhibitions and there will be a sensation of warmth. Now, some minor impairment of reasoning and memory loss will occur and your behavior may become a little exaggerated and your emotions will be intensified. All right. At 0.07 to 0.09, you're going to experience slight impairment of your balance. Your speech, vision, reaction time and hearing will be affected. Your judgment and self-control will be reduced and caution, reason and your memory are impaired. Something to think about. Now, at a 0.10 to 0.125, there is a significant impairment of motor coordination and a loss of good judgment. Now, your speech may be slurred slightly, your balance, vision, reaction time, and your hearing will be impaired. At a 0.13 to a 0.15, there will be a gross motor impairment and lack of physical control. You will, without a doubt, have blurred vision and there will be a major loss of balance. Your judgment and perception are going to be severely impaired. Now, as you approach 0.16 to 0.19, dysphoria predominates and mm, nausea may appear. Now, this is where you're going to be able to point out that sloppy drunk. Now, as you round the curb to a 0.20, you will start to feel uh, dazed, confused or otherwise disoriented. Now, at this point, you may need help to stand or actually walk and blacking out is likely to occur at this level. So you may not remember what happened. Hello. Now, if you continue drinking and get to a point two five, all of your mental, physical and sensory perception functions are severely impaired. Guys, at this point, it's really not a good look at point three zero you are now in a drunken stupor. You will have little comprehension of who you are or where you are. Again, not a good look. And by some stroke of luck, if you reach a 0.35, you fall into a coma is quite possible. This is the level of surgical anesthesia. Not good. And finally, at a 0 0.40, there is a possibility of death due to respiratory arrest. Yeah, death, you're dead, flatline. Well, 
That's all I have today. I hope this information will help you understand the effects of alcohol that will occur on, you know, on your body or in your body short term. I ask guys that you please share this video and also comment below. All right, share a quick story about where you think you fell or continue to fall on this scale. And trust me, I'm not gonna pass judgment. And oh, please look for the video that I'm gonna be doing on the personal breathalyzer, the Backtrack Mobile Pro, which is gonna be out soon, all right? Until then, guys, I ask that you remember that no one cares like we do, and I will see you guys in the next video.